Good day, beloved, and welcome again to another day of our prayer session. As you remember earlier, I told you that men are made in the place of prayer. And also, we are still in the business of reshaping the second half of the year. Quickly, before we begin to pray, I want to look with you in the scriptural verse in Psalms chapter 24, Psalms chapter 27, sorry. Psalms chapter 27 and in verse 4. This is the testimony of the psalmist and in the heart cry of the psalmist. These are men who understood the power of his presence, the importance of his presence, the value of his presence. These are men who understand what they can they cannot do without God. Men who understand that they are living, their life can can cannot become can be counted as something important without God. And Moses was a man who who valued the presence of God and he was saying in Exodus and said, If thy presence will not go before us, we will we will, we will not move an inch. If thy presence will not go before us, we will stay on this on this mountain. And until God gave you an assurance that his presence is going with them. Then they decided not to move from that mountain. And God said, My presence will go before you. Beloved, as we journey into the second half of the year, if there's one requirement, if there's one thing that we must desire, if there's one earnest desire, heart cry of your heart daily, is that the presence of the Lord will go before you. We can never do anything without His presence. Whatever we are, we are today and whatever we will be today, are under his presence the atmosphere of his presence it was that guarantees us all what we need look at what the psalmist said in psalm 27 and in verse 4 in verse 4 he, he, he said one thing have i desired of the lord that will i seek after that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life and to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in its temple. One thing have I asked, have I desired of the Lord, is that I would dwell in its temple, dwell in his presence. The psalmist understand that without the presence of God, his life is worthless. And that is why we are coming at this time asking the Lord that as we journey in the second half of the year, as we join in into the second half of the year, O oh Lord, give us your presence. His presence means a lot. In pre his presence is tied, his presence of the Lord is tied to many things in life. His presence is what that guarantees our safety. His presence is what that guarantees our secure provision. His presence is what that secure provision for us. His presence is what that guarantees us protection and guidance. That's why, look at what the psalmist said in Psalm 91. If you read Psalm 91, you will see exactly the beauty, the safety that we have in the secret place. He said, He, something Psalm 91, of us, one said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snail of the fallen and from the nostrils present. He shall cover thee with the feather, and under His wish shall thou do trust. He shall. His trust shall, shall be the shield and the buckler. That is the, that is the benefit. That is the importance. That is the advantage of dwelling in a secret place. Dwelling in a secret place means carrying his presence everywhere you go. And that is one of the visuals that we need as we journey in the second half of the year. That's why, beloved, at this time we are going to cry unto the Lord and ask the Lord, O oh Lord, give me your presence. 
keep me in your secret place. May I dwell in your secret place. In all through the month, all through the days, all through the week of this second half of the year. May your presence not may your presence not be not depart from me. May I may your presence not be departed from me. May I not depart from your presence. Keep me in your presence. There is there are things the enemy does intentionally to pull us out of God's presence. And at that time he has advantage and the power to attack you. But when we are constantly, say, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What the only thing that the enemy can do is to pull you out of that shadow. And when you are out, you are exposed to danger. But you are going to pray and ask the Lord and say, Lord, as I journey in this second half of the year, keep me in your presence. Help me to dwell. Help me to dwell. Help me to dwell. Help me to dwell in the secret place. And the psalmist said, and the, and the psalmist, and the, and the, and the psalmist said, he said, He that dwelled in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Why not open your mouth and begin to worship Him for His mercy and for His grace that has been available for us from the beginning of the year and now into the second half of the year. It's all by His own mercy. Why not open your mouth and appreciate Him? Open your mouth and give Him all the glory. I appreciate him for his loving kindness. I appreciate him for his love. I appreciate him for his faithfulness. I appreciate him for his great my mercy. I appreciate him for his great love at work in our life. That no matter what happened in the first half of the year, we still remain in his presence. His presence has kept us going. Oh, Father, we worship you. Jesus, we give you all the praise because none can be compared to you. You are the all sufficient God. Thank you for our. We have begun the second half of the year with us. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for great mercy speaking for us. Thank you for your help available for us. Thank you for your sustenance. Thank you for your provision. Thank you because you are our fortress and our refuge. You are our fortress and our refuge. We give you all the glory. Thank you because you are our strength, our shield, and our buckler. Lord, we give you all the praise. Be the resulted in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray at this time we are going to pray and ask the lord and say oh lord as i journey in this second half of the year grant me the grace to dwell in your presence oh the enemy will not triumph over me by taking me out of your presence i receive grace to dwell in the secret place i receive dwell grace to dwell in the secret place open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I ask of you for the sake of my children, for the sake of my family, oh Lord, grant me the grace to dwell. Grant me the grace to dwell in your secret place, in your secret place. In the second half of the year, I receive grace to dwell. I receive grace to dwell in your secret place. I receive grace uh, er, uh, uh, er, uh, I receive grace to dwell. I receive grace to dwell. Dwelling in your secret place. Because he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide on by your safety. Oh Lord, it's, on, it's in your presence that safety is guaranteed. It's in your presence that deliverance is guaranteed. He said, it shall deliver thee from the finesse of the nostrils pencilence. Oh Lord, it is your presence that delivers. Oh Lord, it acts of you, oh Lord, that in this second half of the year, give me the grace to dwell. Give my family the grace to dwell. Give me my wife the grace to dwell. Give my children the grace grace to do give my minister a partners the grace to do in your secret place in the mighty name of jesus oh lord god almighty we ask of you today the grace to dwell in your secret place perfecting your will the grace to dwell in your secret place release upon us are you praying the prayer beloved when i pray i say lord release upon me the grace to dwell mm. 
you know, it takes grace to do it. And the psalmist says, I wait upon the Lord. And again, I say, wait upon him. That was the testimony of Apostle Paul. This something, it takes grace for someone to wait in this kind of dispensation that men are running over. Everyone is rushing here and there, rushing here and there. It takes grace to dwell in a secret place. And beloved, you understand, if we must succeed and progress in this second, second half of the year, if our life will be secured and preserved, we must dwell in that secret place. And that is why you must cry earnestly at this time. Say, oh Lord, grant me the grace to do her. Lord, grant me the grace. Guard my axe on the grace. Grant me the grace to dwell in your secret place. That in the course of the second half of the year, we will dwell, perfecting your will, dwelling in your secret place, in righteousness and holiness. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. You're going to take authority over every works of darkness, manipulations of hell that want to pull you out of the secret place by bringing corruption and sin that the Lord will grant you the grace to overcome them all. The every satanic power, every satanic force, a distraction, the distraction from the pit of hell to pull you out of the secret place. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord. Oh Lord, I will not be distracted. I receive grace not to be distracted. I receive grace not to be distracted. I receive grace not to be distracted. Beloved, you understand because the enemy knows that it cannot attack you when you are under the shadow of the Almighty. He will bring distractions from aside around from the from aside the way for you to stand that will distract you, that he will pull you out of the of the of the, of the, of the shadow of the under the shadow of the Almighty, then you can expose you to an attack. When I pray and ask the Lord, oh Lord, grant me the grace to overcome every distraction. I shall join in the second half of the year. Yeah, yeah, oh Lord, grant me the grace to overcome every distraction. Grant me the grace to overcome every distraction. Effect of copy that satanic plan, that satanic plan, that satanic strategy to pull you out of the secret. I decree over your life that strategy shall fail, that strategy shall scatter. As the scripture says, surely they shall gather. But since the gathering is not of me, it shall not stand. I decree over your life now that every strategy that the enemy is bringing across your way to pull you out of the secret. Secret place today it is cut up. Today it is cut up in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and we declare, let every strategy of the enemy, every plans of the enemy, you that turn the counsel of a to fit to foolishness, turn the counsel to foolishness. We will dwell in the secret place. My children, we shall dwell. We will dwell in your secret place. We receive grace to dwell. We receive grace to dwell. We receive grace to resist the devil. We receive grace to resist the devil. We, it, all distraction that it will bring across my way. I reject it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. One thing you must understand, beloved, is that what that, that, that would take the presence of the Lord away from us as, as children is sin and iniquity. You're going to pray and ask for it. The scripture speaking says, he said, the, the Lord is of our purer eyes that it cannot be held iniquity. He said, the Lord is in his holy temple. Let every man be silent. May every man be silent. Mean that 
and every man depart from iniquity. Open your mouth and begin to ask the Lord. Oh Lord, today I, I ask of you as I join it in this second half of the year. Sin will have no dominion over me. Sin will not have dominion because it is sin that brings separation from, from man, from, from God, from, from, from this separation between man and God. When I pray, I say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, I receive grace. That in the second half of the year, sin will not separate me from you. Sin will not take me from your presence. Sin will not take me from your presence. Corruption will not take me from your presence. Iniquity will not take me from your presence. Lord, keep me in the secret place. He me in the secret place. Lord, grant me. I receive grace to overcome sin, dominion over sin. Sin will not have rule over me. Sin will not have dominion over me. Sin will not have dominion over my family. Sin will not have dominion over my ministry. Sin will not have dominion over my career. Oh, sin will not have dominion over my calling. Sin will not have dominion over my destiny. Oh, Lord, in the second half of the year, your presence, oh Lord, I will dwell in the secret place, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, we are going to pray. We're going to pray this prayer lastly. We're going to tell the Lord. Oh Lord, give me your presence. All I need is your presence. All I need is your presence. All I need is your presence. That is what the scripture said in Matthew chapter 4. Chapter, chapter, chapter 6 and verse 13 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and every other thing shall be added. Seek ye first. If we seek his presence, all we desire will be added, will be given to us. Look at the promises in, 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 Psalm, in Psalm 91, from verse 1 to verse 16. That is the benefit of his presence. That is the sure benefit of dwelling in the Secret place that is the benefit of we having his presence with all the security, the safety, the preservation, the protection, the guidance, the preservation. There's all we need in life is under his own under his presence. When I pray and ask, Oh Lord, give us your presence. We need your presence. Let your presence go before us. And Moses cried out the other day and said, If thy presence will not go before us, we will not move any forward. We'll open your mouth and Pray and ask it, oh Lord. I need your presence. I need your presence. My family needs your presence. In the second half of the year, I need your presence. I need your presence. Oh Lord, we need your presence. Show forth for us in our nation. Let your presence show forth in our nation. Let your presence show forth in our community. Let your presence show forth in our state. We need your presence in our church. We need your presence in the ministry. We need your presence in the office. We need your presence. It is your presence that makes a difference. Beloved, there is no difference between you and the other religion if we, if we don't if we don't have the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is what that makes the difference. The presence of the Holy Spirit with you is what that makes a difference between the casual Christian and the and the firebrand Christian. The presence is what that makes the difference between the extraordinary believers and the ordinary believers. The, 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 the presence of the Lord is what that makes a difference between the church goer and heavenly minded believer. Open your mouth and begin to pray and ask, Oh Lord, I ask, give us your presence. We need your presence. Lord, I need your presence. As I journey in the second half of the year, without you, we will not go ahead. Ah, shut that down. Everything in life is tied to his presence. He said, And I will go before you. He was speaking to the children. I said, and I will go before thee and make every crooked way straight. Accident, say, oh Lord, let your presence go. I had the 2022. 2224. Let your presence go ahead and make every crooked way straight. 
In the month of July, August, September, October, November, December, Lord, let your presence go ahead and make every crooked way straight. Say, my presence will go before thee. Lord, we need your presence. Lord, we need your presence. I need your presence as an individual, as a minister. I need your presence. As a member, I need your presence. As a teacher, I need your presence. As a father, I need your presence. As a wife, I need your presence. As a child, I need your presence. Lord, we need your presence. Give us your presence. This is what we desire of you because we know once we have your presence, every other thing is tied to your presence. Lord, we ask of you, oh Lord, give us your presence. Give us your presence. In the second half of the year, we will not lack your presence. Your presence shall speak for us. Your presence shall make manifest. Oh, God of heaven, your presence was in Goshen and their life was preserved. Even when they were down to the army man and even first bones of the Egyptians were dying down because of your presence in Goshen. They were, their life was preserved in the course of 40 years, 40 days and 40, 40 days and 40 years and 49 where they were in the wilderness. You were with them in a pillar of glass and in a pillar of fire. That is your presence. And because of that, you, you say they suffered no man to do them wrong. And he said, touch not my anointed and do my providence. That is the power of your presence. Lord, we ask of thee Oh Lord, give us your presence as we journey in the second half of the year. Lord, your presence is what we cry for. Your presence is what we des- earnestly desire for. Lord, give me your presence. Give me your presence. That is what I ask for. That is what I desire. That this is the one thing and desire of you in the second half of the year. Oh Lord, let your presence like a garment be from the crown of my hair to the sole of my feet. Wherever I am, your presence will be felt. Your presence will be felt. Your presence will be felt. In my family, we will experience your presence. You see, you will go before us and make us as mountains surround my Jerusalem. So my presence shall be around my people. Oh Lord, surround us with your presence. Surround us with your presence. Holy Spirit, make manifest yourself. Manifest yourself to us. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. And say, Oh Lord. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace to dwell in your presence. I receive grace to dwell in your presence. I receive grace to dwell in your secret place. I receive grace to dwell in the secret place. I receive grace that to, to, to overcome every distraction from the pit of hell to take me out. I receive grace to 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 to, 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 to overcome every distraction of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God Almighty, and we ask of you, oh Lord, give us your presence, give us your presence, keep us in your presence, keep us going from day after day in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father in heaven, we want to appreciate you. Thank you for a moment like this. Thank you for the privilege that you have given us to us to come to reshape the second half of the year. Lord, we ask of you, Lord, when our earnest desire is the grace to dwell in your secret place. Our earnest desire is the grace to overcome every distraction. Our earnest desire is to see that we have your presence that we dwell in your secret place all our days. That your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father, because we know that greater things you will do. By the reason of your presence, sickness cannot dwell. By the reason of your presence, poverty cannot dwell. By the reason of your program, presence, progress shall be guaranteed. So shall it be in the second half of the year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Deva. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.